everyone. Today I'm going to read Skippy John Jones by Judy Shachner. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Miss Doohiggy's bird bath. Uh-oh. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do something ser some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse, or a grouse, not a moose, or a goose, not a rat, or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm um, Skippy John Jones, and I bounce on my bed, and once or six times, I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So up he went again, and again it appeared. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he said, My ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a Chihuahua. And back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and swore and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a meow, meow, soft voice. My name is Skippito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done, done yes, indeedo. Back in the kitchen, Juju B, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Juju B. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffer Mutter Nutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John jo Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterious band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay, caramba! Who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Skippito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? asked 
Poquito Tito. I go incognito, said Skipito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pintolito. See, sí, I love mice and beans, said Skipito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Skipito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Ah, 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 Yippee, yippee It's the end of Alfredo Bazito. Skipito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad Bumblebeeto. Then all of the chimichangos went crazy loco. First, they had a fiesta. And then they took a siesta. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great bumble beetle for Scapito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos, so great that one could hear a whisper drop. Alfredo Bazito, whispered the crowd. El Blimbo, Bumblebito, Bandito. See, si, said Poquito, Tito. The Bandito steals our friolas. Not your beans, cried Scipito, outraged. See, si, Poquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto, and jelly too. And now he comes for us, Poquito added. Hmm, because we are all full of the beans too? Then Don Diego stood tall and in his most somber voice declared, Yo cuero friolos, fr friolos, huh? Asked Scapito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Poquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? Asked Scapito. Then all of the chimichangos turned towards Scapito, the great sword fighter. But poor Skipito had no time for a plan, because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangas scattered in all directions. Vamos, Skipito, or is it you the bandito will eat too, they cried. Skipito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook like the jello, and his teeth chattered like the Costinets. Then, in a muy, muy soft voice, he said, My name is Scapito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. But Alfredo Bazito flew straight for Scapito until the bean eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frioles! <gasps> cried Scipito as he thrust his sword in the air. Uh-oh. Pop! Suddenly went the bandito, landing on Scipito's sword. And quicker than one could say, chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers, every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Bazito the bum beetle bandito. Look at all those beans coming out of them. 
Jelly beans, even. Then all the doggies burst into song. Yip, yippee, yippito. Our hero is El Scapito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans. And now we can make our burritos. But back at home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Bangito! Crashito! Popito! Scoopito! Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. <laughs> Then out flew Candy, Beanbag Doggies, and the Kitty Boy with his birthday piñata on his head. Skippy John Jones cried, everyone cried. Holy muchachas, he said in a muy, muy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry, purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs, she scolded. <laughs> that night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones called his mama. Buenas noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. Oh, he's going to bed. He was pretending to be all sorts of things, wasn't he? He went on an adventure. Today I want to talk to you about um, some of you will be going to kindergarten. And this is a picture of um, Anna and she's getting on the big bus to go to kindergarten. Can you see how she might be feeling? Hmm. Do you think she's feeling worried? She looks like she's feeling a little bit worried to me. She looks, um, she was feeling worried about riding the bus. She could be feeling exciting, excited, but it doesn't look like she's feeling excited. Is she comfortable or uncomfortable? She looks uncomfortable, huh? Yeah. So Anna's tummy hurts and she doesn't want to get on the bus. She's not sure if she will like it. She thinks it might be scary, and she's having a strong feeling. What can she do about that? She can take some deep breaths, right? And she could name the feeling. So she could put her hands on her tummy, and she could say stop, and she could name the feeling, and she could take some deep breaths, right? Yep, and that will help her calm down. So Anna takes some big belly breaths in through her nose, out through her mouth, and she quietly says to herself, I can do it. It'll be okay. I'll sit next to my friend, and she sits down by her friend, and she stays calm all the way to school. So she calms herself down. She felt worried, but then she calmed herself down afterwards. And you can do that too, if you're feeling worried about something as well. I think that's probably all for today. And next time we're going to play Little Mouse after the story. And um, we will also be doing um, All the Children Were Fast.